Luke Leatherman with Feeling Parts here to showcase our new Gorilla Rocker shafts. Over double the strength of the factory OEM and our competitor shafts, hence the name Gorilla. Designed out of 4140 HT steel, and then we do a gas nitrite heat treat hardening process, and then we wrap it up with a final polish surface finish. We developed this product after a failure that we had racing at King of the Baggers in 2020, where we broke a rocker shaft, ended up pulling the a uh, rocker stud out of the aluminum and snap the shaft. You know, we set ourselves out to create a, a bulletproof product, hence searching out the 4140 HT steel. Another feature that we offer, if you look at the factory, our competitor shafts, they take uh, an end mill and they cut the, the side of it, which is gonna give it the flat surface for the nut and or head of the bolt to rest on. We developed and created a tool so that we can go in and do a countersink to it and this is gonna leave as much material as possible on the shaft. Once again, we wanted to create something that's gonna be as strong as possible as we didn't wanna see any more failures. The Gorilla shafts are offered in fitments for both the Milwaukee 8 and twin cam engines. The shafts are available by themselves as a you know, quantity four, and then we also have the kits put together with the ARP hardware. For the Milwaukee 8, we have the studs and the nuts, and then the twin cam engines, we have the 8740 bolts with the nice wide underhead flange. Touching base on the failure that we had at Laguna Seca, King of the Baggers. Kind of showcasing the cylinder head here. You can see on the rocker shaft boss, or the standoff of the cylinder head, you can see the threads pulled out. You can also look at the valve springs. You can see some discoloration in the springs where they kind of have a goldish tint where the springs were originally silver. These cylinder heads went through a bunch of testing. Hey, when we were just getting ready for the King of the Baggers racing, we were going through a bunch of development work and we had to figure out how to control the temperature. So that's something that this cylinder head also saw was some excessive and extreme oil temperatures, heat, etc. And you can see the shaft where it snapped. It's kind of a domino effect, if you will. You know, shaft broke, pulls the threads of the stud out and you know you, we can look at the valve springs by the discoloration and know that you know we were seeing some extreme heat up there but you know sticking true to our roots looking for bulletproof you know we went out and sourced the best material that we could the best heat treat process hardening process and uh, here we are gorilla rocker shaft breaking a component like this gives the r d department something to work for allows us to produce and provide another bulletproof component available at your local drag specialties dealer.